Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're taking a look at some of the um, Hong Kong um, index as well as the, the Chinese uh, ETFs. So without further ado, let's first start off with the Hang Seng uh, index. So you can see the Hang Seng actually uh, crossed its uh, recent resistance of around 22.4k. So that is a good sign for now. But uh, what we want to see is a continuation above this uh, strong resistance because if we do not have a continuation above this resistance, it may potentially just be a fake breakout above this. So the next uh, resistance we're watching is actually not too far away, about 100, 200 points away. So our recent low was uh, 14,597 to a high of 25,050. Uh, so it was uh, back then in uh, sometime in March and uh, uh, February rather. So 22.8K is our next resistance. If we can surpass it, then potentially sending us to 25,000. Uh, Two supports to watch. We are watching this first uh, blue conversion line. It's currently around 22,000. So this is the first support. In the event, if we break down further, then we are looking towards this 20.8K, which is this uh, red baseline. So as of now, you can see that this blue conversion line is pretty uh, held pretty strongly. So if so long as we do not break this blue conversion line, things will be uh, continue uh, going up. So let's take a look at the Hang Seng Tech. So for the Hang Seng Tech, uh, we have yet to cross this uh, 5,000 uh, key psychological resistance. But that said, uh, we have already surpassed this 4,620, uh, which was a critical resistance for us. So if uh, all things go well, it's likely for us to hit the 5,137 target, which was the recent high. That said, uh, there's uh, two supports to watch. First one will be around 4.6K, this blue conversion line. And second one is uh, 4.385 at this red baseline here. So let's move on to KWEB. So for KWEB, you can see that we have already crossed this 50% uh, Fibonacci resistance. And the recent low for KWEB was around $17. Recent high was around $52. That was uh, many months ago. And the next resistance we are looking at is around uh, $39. Uh, that said, um, we have uh, really crossed this resistance, but what we want to see is that we are able to continue to hold this uh, strong uh, support. If this can turn into a strong support, that will be a good sign for KWEB. Potentially sending us to $44, or even uh, um, retesting back the $52 uh, recent high. Two supports to watch will be $34, $35. Second support will be $32, $33. So let's take a look at CWEB. So for CWEB, we have crossed this 78.6%. The next target uh, remains unchanged at around $80. It's likely for us to continue upwards if we do not have a fake breakout above this uh, strong resistance here. This is previous resistance. If we can turn into support, that would be good, potentially sending us to $80. Two support to watch. First one will be 66. Second will be the $60 psychological support level. Lastly, we have FXI. So FXI uh, um, inching up towards the uh, recent high of 3483. It's likely for us to see it uh, happening next week. Um, two supports to watch. We are looking at $32 for the first support and second support is the $30 psychological support level. So uh, overall, the Chinese market seems to be uh, continuing its uh, momentum um, and is still doing um, well. So it will continue to remain bullish until uh, potential news or even um, uh, we start seeing a, a reversal of trend. So if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.